Messiah for Jim to say, Here, Joseph, and there's nobody for the side of us for saying, Fourth us, divest and sanction against apartheid Israel. It is quite lawful to do so in every country in the world except France. We will continue to support our comrades in France, the only country in the world to put the two people for gaining correctly, preparation. In France, they, they are arresting our French comrades for speaking against apartheid in Israel. We are here to stand in solidarity with the Palestinians, the Palestinian struggle that have been ethnic in France and live under an apartheid racist regime uh, by Israel and to support a BDS movement which calls for boycott, divestments and sanctions in Israel until we respect the equal rights of the Palestinians the right to return of the Palestinians and an end to the illegal occupation of Palestine. your house. Imagine the degradation and shock of that. 
Imagine me every day torturing people going through the checkpoints, sometimes waiting four or five hours in the sun and they're not allowed to go through on the whim of a certain soldier at the checkpoint. I met a girl a few years ago who went to university in the equivalent of Knightsbridge and wanted to get to Sloane Square to her home. She said it took her on average four hours a day to get back and through the checkpoints. And I said, how does that feel? How does that make you feel? And she said, well, what do you think? She said, if I get angry, I'll get arrested. The only cause is, is de despair and depression. This is the everyday reality for Palestinians on the West Bank and conditions in Gaza, if you know anything about the Gaza situation, is far worse. People in a, in a makeshift, makeshift prison living a terrible life of deprivation, constantly attacked, aerial attacks all the time. We as a group, we are from London and I'm from Brighton, we belong to this international campaign that is supporting the boycott and sanction of this state. This state which claims to be the only democracy in the Middle East but treats its Arab Palestinians as second class citizens and those other citizens in the West Bank and Gaza as lepers and tourists from their behavior and their animals. We are drawing attention to this outside the French embassy today because the French government in its wisdom constantly harasses the, the protesters against the illegal settlements, against the Israeli system of what is now known as apartheid. If you question this, you only have to read what Desmond Tutu said when he came to Israel and Palestine to meet Yasser Arafat. He said, I thought South Africa was bad until I came here. Now Desmond Tutu is no fanatic. He's a decent, honest, almost saintly man. And he can say on his visit to Israel and his research into what's going on in Israel and Palestine that this is worse than South Africa. Many of us were involved in the boycott of South Africa. We are asking you to be involved in the boycott of Israel, particularly those goods that are made in the settlements and those settlements which are continually expanding back onto Palestinian land. My goodness, you can see the difference. Beautifully kept moons, lovely sprinklers, the Palestinian water they've taken. Outside the Palestinians live in poverty and their only chance of survival is to work in these settlements. And they work in these factories in the settlements for far less than any other foreign worker. I was in a, in a, near a factory where the Thai workers imported labour earned double what the indigenous Palestinian workers own, earned. They have no contracts. If they're sick, that's their hard luck. No provision made for holiday. Because they're agriculturists, land has been diminished and diminished. People, to, in order to keep their families alive, have to work in these factories under these conditions. We're standing here in solidarity with our French comrades, uh, which are activists like us, calling for the end of the apartheid regime and the uh, racist state of Israel. They support supporters of the call for boycott uh, in Israel in uh, In France, doing this is illegal. You can go to prison for doing this. And today, uh, our French comrades are being prosecuted. They are on trial. They are threatened to go to jail because of protesting like us. So we want to stand in solidarity with our French comrades and we want to demand to the French government to please free these activists because these activists are speaking against racism, they are speaking against apartheid in Israel and we truly stand with them.